First of all, I'd like to dedicate this poem to um, the people that saved my life, which are my choir teacher, the kids I teach choir to, and then my poetry team. Um, <laughs> I love you too. Um, my name is Chase. I'm a senior from Westside High School. And uh, this is my poem, Day 43. Valentine's Day. It was never my thing. I never liked the idea of doing mushy one-on-one -on -one things with a partner. I always looked at it as an excuse to tell my friends that I love them. While I'm at school here in Nebraska, sitting in classrooms, staring at walls to get out of schoolwork, all I can think is, man, I want to die. School is boring me to death. Little did I know, there's kids in a Florida high school hiding behind desks, in corners, in closets, eyes shut, tears of fear streaming down their cheeks, thinking, I don't want to die 43 days into 2018. 47 different mass shootings, 18 different schools filled with the sound of gunshots instead of school bells, screaming instead of laughter, police sirens wailing instead of the choir singing, still filled with the sound of silence. Silence as a 16-year-old hits the ground. Silences are told not to talk while being rushed out of the school. Silence as everybody talks about it, as everybody sends their th thoughts and prayers, as the victim's family weeps, yet all we get is silence. Silence from elected officials, just silence. Do not tell me this only affects the victims because I know what I saw when three of my teachers broke down crying, crying because they couldn't imagine one of us not coming back to class, crying because they have kids of their own, crying because they remember something like this happening when they were in high school. It was Valentine's Day. While kids were supposed to give strangers they only saw in the hallway hearts cut from construction paper, they were holding on to each other in fear. While they were supposed to give their English teacher chocolate in a heart-shaped box, they were pressing their own shirts into her stomach to stop the bleeding. This isn't supposed to happen. I'm not supposed to wonder what I would do in a situation like that. None of us should be worried about coming to school one day and not coming back the next. None of us should be worried about why someone is reaching into their backpack. Is it a gun or a water bottle, a weapon or a notebook? You're more afraid of losing your weapons than you are of losing your kids. And you treat those guns like your children more than you treat your own children like your children. Everybody always talks about how sad it is, how it has to stop. But how he was a broken child, nobody ever talks about how he bought the gun legally or how easily it was for him to change the guns magazine to kill more people or how 73% of gun crimes are committed with legally purchased weapons. So no, do not tell me gun violence does not exist. Do not tell me you won't let this happen again. Do not tell me there's no way to prevent it. There's ways to stop this before it even happens. And I'm not talking about million dollar alarm systems or tear gas in hallways. Only America would turn places of education into prisons rather than getting rid of the weapons. So now it's day 85. 67 mass shootings, 22 of them being in schools, and everyone is just waiting, waiting for the next headline, worst mass shooting in United States history. Every single one always seems to be the worst. But I guess we'll just wait, because that's just easier, right? <laughs>